Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to explain how you can use Void Pointer in C language. Right? Before start, if you go to description of this video, you will find links of various uh, playlists related to C language. So you can follow them too. So before starting pointer, sorry, Void Pointer, let me write these statements. So first is int asterisk p a then float asterisk q b then char asterisk r and c so here uh, you can see i have uh, integer pointer its variable float pointer its variable character pointer and its variable so if i want to store address of integer variable then i require integer pointer if i want to store address of float variable then i require float pointer if I want to store uh, address of character variable, then I require character pointer. So for different variables or different type of variables, I need different type of pointer. Now, if you want to reduce number of pointers, let's say you want only one pointer that can store address of int as well as address of float variable, address as well as address of character variable. Then in place of declaring all these variables separately, you can declare one pointer that is known as void pointer. And further, you can typecast that pointer so that you can uh, find out specific value related to a particular variable. Right? So now we can uh, avoid these statements and we can declare one common pointer as void pointer. Right? And let's say I have a variable A, integer type, variable B, float type. So A is having 5 and B is having 2.5, right? So now uh, continuation with this, if I write P equals to address of A. So this is a valid statement. P is a void pointer and this void pointer can store address of this A variable that is of integer type. Right, but whenever you are going to use that value, then you need to typecast that pointer so that you can have a particular value. Because what will happen? Let's say this is a, this is b, a is 5, b is 2.5, its beginning address is 101, its beginning address is 201. And let's say this is p, which is having beginning address as 101. So now, when I will be dereferencing this pointer, so let's say if I write printf percent d and asterisk p, so p is having 101, and if I write asterisk in front of this, so asterisk means value at address, address is 101, so 101 is the beginning address, and value is available on a two address, that is a combination of two address, 101 and 102. Because A is of type integer, right? Now P don't know its type because it is void type, so it don't know its specific data type. So it is unable to identify how many bytes or how many address it has to dereference. Because right now it is having address of A. If it is having address of B, then beginning address will be 201. So P will be having 201. And if we write asterisk 201, so this time we need to dereference 4 bytes because D is of type float, right? So uh, for this reason, type of pointer becomes important. So to reduce number of pointer, we use void pointer. But now for calculation purpose, again, we need to typecast that void pointer into a specific type. So before writing this, I need to write this int pointer and then p. So I am typecasting p with integer pointer. And now I need to write this asterisk. So first p will be converted into integer pointer and then it will be dereferenced with this asterisk. So it will identify value at address. So now p knows its data type and i belongs to integer pointer. So how many bytes it will uh, process? Two bytes. So output of this will be 5. 
now if i write p equals to address of b so this time p will be having address as 201 right and if i write print f percent f and asterisk p so again same problem arises because it means asterisk 201 so this time also p don't know what is my type because it is of void type so it will a uh, dereference so how it will know how many bytes it has to dereference or how many address uh, pointer needs to collect to work upon so before processing this we need to convert it into float pointer and then we can dereference it so that it will print 2.5 so friends i hope you understood if you want to reduce number of pointer then you can declare void pointer and whenever you want to process that void pointer then every time you need to dereference for every time you need to type cast that void pointer into a specific type of pointer like i did and then only you will be having a proper value otherwise that uh, outcome will be a garbage value and your process will show you incorrect result so use void pointer but don't forget to type cast it so that you will be having the correct output so i hope you understood how we can replace integer pointer float pointer and character pointer with void pointer and then further we need to type cast it so that we can use it properly so i hope you understood whatever i explained in this video if you want to watch more videos open my channel and i have lots of videos or go to description of this video and find links of various playlists attached so thank you for watching this video